NVIDIA has silently released a LAMA 3.1 fine-tuned model. Uh, this is a 70 billion parameter model known as LAMA 3.1 Nematron 70 billion instruct. So this model is performing better than say GPT-4 Turbo or GPT-4O uh, Omni as well as it's performing better than say Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So this is their claim on say various benchmarks. So it is interesting that this 70 billion instruct uh, model is performing much better than say bigger models like GPT-4 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. This model is open source. It has been released on Hugging Face. It's also available on NVIDIA. Um, they have also API access to it. So if you have API access, you can try it out over here. Right, you can you can try it out over here. You can also access via API. Uh, so what they claim in their paper is that uh, this is one of the uh, models which is able to solve this, you know, prompt which is how many are in strawberry correctly. Okay, so when compared to other models like Claude three point five Sonnet or GPT four O, right? Because both of them kind of make mistakes over here. Um, so Let's try out this particular how many are in strawberry. Uh, let's try out that particular text over here. Uh, I'll put it over here. So, so it's generating the response. So it says, ah, this time it's gone for a toss, right? It is saying there are two hours over here. Uh, but previously when I tried it, it gave me the three hours. So, Again, some kind of uncertainty over here. Let me see if I've chosen. Yeah, I've chosen the correct model over here. This model is also available on Hugging Chat. Okay, maybe I'll try it over here. Let count the R. Okay, there are three R's. See, here the correct response comes. Still, this shows you would need to be, you know, there is uncertainty in output for the same model. Right. When you ask it, say if you ask it 10 times, there is a chance that you are you would still get different answers. OK, so you can try out other things over here. Like, for example, maybe I will ask another question like, you know, uh, right. Uh, help me with Python code. Code to detect circles in images let's see what code it gives okay below is a step by step in this thing yeah it makes use of open cv uh what else does it do it's still generating yeah okay let it finish generating then we can look at it okay it explains about uh, cv 2 dot half circle uh then it talks about how you can fine tune it uh, how you can uh, change some parameters of CV2 Huff uh, to actually detect circles. Okay, so it makes use of CV2, this thing converts an image to grayscale, uh, standard image processing things over here. So it, this is just a simple example of coding. Okay, so you can try out various things over here. This model is also available on Hugging Face uh, chat, Hugging Chat. Okay, uh, now let's go into a little bit of details of this particular model, whatever is available over here. Uh, so what they are saying is that uh, this model card is available over here as well, All right? Um, so what they are saying is that this La uh, Lama 3.1 Nematron 70 billion instruct is a large language model which is customized by NVIDIA to improve the helpfulness of LLM generated uh, responses to user queries. The terms are Lama 3 terms for license, so it is uh, it can be used for commercial purposes. Okay. And the model architecture is a transformer. Uh, it is Llama 3.1, which is further fine-tuned. Uh, context window of uh, on 28K tokens. Output is 4K tokens. And then what is there? It supports only text currently. Anything else is over there. Uh, so it is, uh, you know, uh, trained uh, using uh, RHLF. I don't see that over here, but I saw it over here, how they have done trained. So this model was trained using RHLF. Especially, uh, specifically something called as reinforce. Um, so what they did over here is if you look at this, they took the metal llama uh, 3.170 billion parameter model fine tuned using RHLF. 
that's how you get this instruct uh, model okay uh, what else is present over here and uh, uh, there is also this using rhlf and there is something called this llama 3.1 nematron 70 billion reward let's look at what it is so this is a lang large language model customized by this thing okay uh, to predict the quality of llm generated responses okay so specifically it has been trained using a llama instruct base on a novel approach combining the strength of bradley terry and um, steer lm regression reward modeling so this is a reward model okay and uh, basically uh, using this reward model and uh, rhlf right and these particular prompts um, that is how they have actually fine tuned this version the nematron 3.1 70 billion instruct it is available on hugging face uh, you know transformers as well to run it you actually require at least two 80 gb graphics cards that's what they are saying over here you require two or more 80 gb nvidia uh, gpus nvidia ampere or newer with at least 150 gb of free space to accommodate the download uh, so here is where they talk about how much it is better in performance when compared to say GPT-4 or Claude, right? On various uh, benchmarks like Arena Hard or Alpaca Eval or Empty Bench. Um, so here is the, this thing on Arena Hard. They are saying that, um, you know, whereas Claude 3.5 is 79 and GPT-4 is 79.3. Um, the score for this is 85.0. Looks like a huge improvement over here on the benchmark, right? Even on, uh, you know, Alpaca, well, it is quite close to GPT-40. It is better than GPT-40, uh, much better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet. These are uh, your uh, benchmarks, right? But practically, when you try it out, you will get to know whether it is much better. So it does very well on benchmarks. And uh, it's nice that there is an open source model which is performing close to, say, GPT-40 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So this was about uh, Llama 3.1 Nematron, uh, 70 billion parameter instruct uh, model. Uh, you can try it out on Hugging Face Chat. You can try it out on NVIDIA's uh, build.nvidia.com. Uh, I will put these links in the description of the video. Uh, there are other articles which talk about the performance over here. There is also this paper which talks about, you know, the NVIDIA, uh, the reward model, right? How the reward model was uh, trained. So that is explained over here. Um, if required, I'll go into the details of this paper. Right. So what they're saying is that they, they're also releasing a data state over here. Okay. For uh, your R RLHF based training. So that is also interesting. Um, so this is a data set for, uh, you know, uh, tune this instruct model basically for the reward model basically. Right. As well as for the uh, instruct version which is your llama 3 point uh, nematron 70 billion instruct so that is what they use this reward model for our lhf so this reward model the nematron 70 billion reward is actually trained on this data set so it is interesting to check this data set as well i hope uh, this video is useful to you this is an exciting model maybe i'll try out some applications using this model in the future um, for the moment uh, it's all about this model so you can go and check out all the relevant links i'll put it in the description hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video